Good morning, afternoon, evening, as the case may be, in your part of the world. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Zen Archer. Um, recently, I purchased through eBay a pan flute. Now, the reason that I go through eBay is it's easy for me to order stuff from, and, and it just arrives at my house. That's that's a nice thing. It's also a lot cheaper than any place else. I can get you know decent quality without paying top dollar, and in some cases. Depending on what it is, that's important to me. One of those things that I that I recently bought was a, a kenna and a uh, pan flute. I got them for, I think the whole thing together was like ten bucks, you know. Um, but I looked and made sure that I knew what I was getting before I placed my bid, because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't just buying garbage. So the seller that I bought from is called Amazon to Andes. And they're out of Florida. Now, apparently, they have a distributor, and all their items are fair trade. So they have different qualities of instruments, and the instruments come from different places. Uh, the, the pan flute, for instance, is Ecuadorian, uh, as opposed to Peruvian. So I place my order. A couple of minutes before the end of the auction and I won the auction there were no other bidders and I also saved on shipping because it was both for the Kenna which I think sold for 97 cents <laughs> plus shipping and the pan flute well for the last couple of days I've been obsessed with looking and waiting for those flutes to get here so I can play them and you know and, and all that kind of stuff Today, I got a message from them saying that they don't have any double pan flutes and asking me if I would accept a, a 10 flute or a 13 flute or a 10 note or a 13 note one in its place. I went over and looked at their other auctions and they have the same flute just in a different configuration in 13 notes, but they also have 10 and 13 note pan flutes that are less lower quality they have nodes in them and when you're making a flute and you have to burn through the nodes it makes small and, and large openings through there it's not all the same so because it's not all the same then the quality of the note that comes out is different so I don't want that I want one piece of reed with no notes or with no nodes in it so that it's it's just one hollow two. So I sent them a message back and said, yes, you can send me uh, a 13th note pan flute, which is basically the same thing I ordered. It's just set up it a little differently. You can do that, but you must send me the same quality as what I purchased. You can't send, send me the, the lesser quality one with the nodes in it. I'm a little disappointed that they haven't sent anything yet and that it's been eight or nine days since I made the order and they're just now telling me that they don't have it. Also, I, when I go over and look at their auctions, they have 12 other auctions up of the double pan flute that they're telling me they don't have. I don't understand why you're auctioning stuff that you don't have. I assume that you weren't aware that you didn't have it. But I also would would think that you would take down the auctions that have no bids on them at least, um, so you don't get into an even worse situation. At any rate, I'm a little disappointed that A, they're not here yet, and B, that what I purchased is not what I'm being sent. I There's part of me who just wants to go, you know what, just refund my money and let's forget about it. <laughs> I'll buy it somewhere else. But uh, I'm going to give the guy a break. And, and hopefully, you know, he will send something of the same quality. And then we'll go from there. So that's my, my drama for today. In my last video, I had a couple of comments from uh, some people. Uh, somebody said, uh, ask me, would I... Uh, when I do a blog about the car wreck that I did for my kayaks... And uh, uh, let's see, that was uh, Little Tim, I think it was. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really read the name. Uh, Little One Tim 
had asked that, and uh, and I said I will. I'll I'll do a, a video about that when the weather's a little nicer and I can actually show you the car rack, how it works, and all that kind of stuff. It's not really difficult though, Tim. Um, all I did was got four elbows, and uh, you know, 90 degree elbows, and uh, two or three pieces of PVC pipe for like a dollar and a quarter a piece. They're eight foot long. And just cut them the length so that the kayak, they would hold the uh, the pool noodles that I use as cushions um, between the kayak and the car. So that's pretty much it. And then the whole thing's held together with uh, nylon straps. But I will do that video once the weather breaks and I start kayaking again. Um, somebody else asked, will I be doing the show at Stick Cam again? Uh, or will I be doing it soon? I, I have some uh, mic issues that I have to deal with because I've got a new computer and I picked up the 60, 60 cycle hum again. Also, um, it looks like I'm going to have to find somebody else as a co-host. And uh, that's going to be something that's, that's more difficult to do because uh, there's got to be somebody that, that there's some chemistry there in order for the show to work. Um, I still might do the morning show, um, the, uh, the breakfast club and stuff, which I always did by myself. So I, I might start off with that. But yes, the show is coming back. Uh, I completely intend on doing that. I've gone over and listened to some of our own podcasts. And, and forgive me for patting myself on the back, but they sound pretty damn good. And I like them. And, and I think we did a decent show. So we're going to do that again. It's, it's just a matter of time and getting things worked out and then setting up a schedule uh, to do that. So stay tuned. Uh, I haven't forgotten about it. I know it's been like a year since we did it, but yes, we're doing it again. Also, uh, I'm spending a lot of time over at thecafezen.com, all one word, thecafezen.com. And that's our uh, our uh, support site for the Zen Live Radio Show. And it's also a community of friends who are putting up pictures and videos and music and stuff like that. Some of our artists are putting up stuff. Come on over and check it out at thecafezen.com. And, uh, you know, throw your stuff up there. Put up, if, if you do photography or music or, you know, you just want to have coffee in the morning and talk about whatever it is you want to talk about, feel free to do that. Um... Politics over bloggerheads, uh, Paul Robinette and Tom Guariello's site, uh, they, they, um, they had a vote and, and a guy by the name of Marcel is now in charge of stuff and he's doing a good job, um, working out the details of, of making it a self-governed site and, and I wish them the best of luck. I was pretty heavily involved with it. I am not anymore. Um, it's their site, they, they can do what they want, and obviously the community um, doesn't want me as, as uh, an administrator there, um, because if they had, they would have voted me as the administrator there. So that being the case, then why waste my time and why waste theirs? Uh, I'm still involved, I'm still giving my opinions about how things are going, and I'm going to continue to do that. But uh, my content's here in the Cafe Zen, primarily. Uh, a little bit of stuff at, at Bloggerheads, but not much. And I wish them the best. I wish Marcel the best with what he's doing, and so on and so forth. You know, good luck to them. What else is going on? Nothing. I've got my coffee this morning. I've got my cigarettes. It's Sunday. That's my day. I'll probably play my flutes a little bit more. I've got, uh, I've been flute crazy, made a whole bunch of them. And uh, now I've got to tune them and throw some of the garbage ones out, the ones that didn't come out right. But that's pretty much my day. So tell me what you're doing. Leave a, leave a video and tell me what you're doing. Instead of just a comment, just say, leave a video. You know, and if you play a musical instrument, I'd like to know about it. If you've made your own musical instrument, I'd like to know about it. I made a, uh, most recently, I made a drum. Actually, uh, actually I made two. 
this was uh, this was a vase that I had sticks and stuff in. You'll notice that this is just this is held together right now with rubber bands. I need to glue it and, and tack it in place. But the, the head was off of right above my thumb. Right there is a uh, tambourine, and the head had torn along the edge, so it wasn't tight anymore. So I cut it off, and it was laying around. And then the, I I saw this one day, and I thought that would make a great drum. So I took the tambourine head and I put on there, I tacked it all down, I wet it, then I tacked it all down, and then I put the webbing around it. And I think it's going to make a pretty decent drum. I also put a hole in the bottom so that uh, it would change the sound of it a little bit. Anyway, I'm all set for a drum circle. Uh, also, uh, I, had this, I had this little tambourine And it had really garbage uh, shakers in it. I didn't like them. So I took them all off and just using it like that. And then I thought to myself, you know, that would probably make a, a decent drum. Because it sounded too tinny just by itself. So uh, I took a half of a coconut shell that I had from uh, a dinner one night. And I made the monkey drum. This is now the monkey drum. So I just have it taped together right now. I need to put some webbing on there and get everything tacked down. Um, this hole in the side, which was to hold it with, uh, actually worked out pretty good because I can change the tone of it by opening the hole. So yeah, that's the monkey drum. Monkey can't escape the monkey, right? Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. Tell me what you're doing. You know, um, people tell me all the time that YouTube has no uh, community, that, that, you know, well, there is none. Well, I think there is. I think you guys are, you know, I'm communicating with you. Communicate with me. Let's, you know, let's keep this thing going. Till next time, as always, this is Zen saying you be well.